And a Cottonwood neighborhood is indeed in disbelief tonight after an apparent murder-suicide over the weekend. Action News Now reporter Jesse Angelo has been working to learn more about exactly what happened. He's live now at the Shasta County Sheriff's Office. So Jesse, what have you been able to find out today? Alan, earlier this afternoon, uh, Shasta County Sheriff's issued a press release with limited information about the incident. So I came down here to the Sheriff's Office to get an incident report. I was told to fill out a request form and I'm still working on getting that report. What we do know from the release is that it all happened at on Saturday just before 1130 p.m. when uh, deputies responded to this house in the 3000 block of Rhonda Road in Cottonwood. After after reports of domestic violence. When deputies got there and approached the home, they heard a gunshot and once they made their way inside, found the bodies of a man and a woman. They say no other people were in the home and that it appeared to be a murder-suicide and deputies say that there is no public threat. I did go down to the scene today and spoke with neighbors and found a few more details. One neighbor said that they heard a firecracker, what they thought was a firecracker, and after they heard a man and woman screaming from within the home, realized that it was a gunshot. Another neighbor said that there were multiple gunshots after the first one before deputies arrived. And once deputies made it to the scene and were on their loudspeakers demanding people to leave the home, uh, heard the final gunshot. All of the neighbors I spoke with today said the, the couple in the home always kept to themselves. And they were also all just stunned that something like this could happen in their neighborhood. Reporting live in Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. So Jesse, again, so investigators, uh, they haven't released information regarding which of the two actually fired the shots or uh, uh, they're also not releasing the names, right? That's right, Alan. None, none of the de those details have been released. Uh, they don't, haven't even released who they might believe had pulled the trigger. Uh, but they do say that if anyone has information about this incident to please contact the Shasta County Sheriff's Department. Well, all right, thank you, Jesse, for that. Well, new 